Hello, how are you guys doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to make a video of me kind of reacting to the new precision rifle, which is a really bad gun and actually one of the worst rifles that's ever been added to GTA Online. Now the very first time that we saw this rifle, we saw this in the trailer um, for the Criminal Enterprise DLC. Now I was a little confused because it looked to me like the regular bolt action sniper rifle that you got, but then I realized it was actually a different rifle. And this rifle has iron sights, which I'm not against. You should be able to put an optic or a scope on it. Um, I do like iron sights on rifles, but I actually got the I actually got kind of excited at the idea of being able to use a bolt action rifle just in the world of iron sights, not having to constantly rely on a scope. But unfortunately, when you actually try to use the thing, it's a massive disaster. So here I am, I'm wearing my um, uh, Sniper Elite 5 cosplay um, for a GTA video for, you know, both game series that I love. And also, if you guys want to wear the exact same uh, sweater as Carl, because his sweater is actually in the, um, uh, is actually in the game, you would have to go to, uh, out, you can go to ammunition, you can go to outfits, um, and team, and it's under the night. If you wanted just the shirt itself or the sweater itself, the black one, because it's the exact same one that Carl wears in Sniper Elite 5, it's under sweaters, and it's actually, um, uh, it's actually called the uh, combat black combat sweater but um anyways here's the precision rifle now i've already purchased this thing so i, I can't show you guys the price beforehand but this thing costs four hundred fifty thousand dollars, and i actually did not plan on making a video on it because i normally don't really cover a lot of gu new guns in this game unless there's something really special but uh, this in this case this was a uh, this was a unique gun which i will give it that but it was just this is like one of the worst guns that has ever been added to gta and also so this is one of the worst bolt action rifles that I've ever seen in games and I'm a big fan of bolt action rifles I love it especially in the sniper elite series so now you know what is so bad exactly what what's so bad about the precision rifle well What's bad is that there is no customization, there's no optics, there is no scope on this rifle, there's no suppressor option, there is no, um, uh, there's no muzzle brake option, there's really nothing, no magazine options on this gun. This gun has no customization either, which, I don't know what Rockstar was thinking when they decided to add this thing into the game, it's just like, this, this thing just horrifies me, like it's just an ugly, terrible, bad bolt action rifle. And the thing is though, is I'm not even one of those guys that's big on scopes. I actually don't really like scopes and you guys might find this hard to believe but I actually pick people off in a lot of sniper games just using iron sights. Like I train myself to use iron sights in a lot of games. One game that I've gotten really good at using iron sights in is Battlefield 1. Like I headshot people from 300 meters in Battlefield 1 with a bolt action rifle so iron sights I don't really mind that much but you know if you're gonna give me iron sights I'm assuming you want me to go and, and engage the targets at close range, well then the gun better kill people at close range, that's all I'm going to say about it, but unfortunately it doesn't. So let's start off with talking about the absolute worst thing about this gun, and that this gun takes four shots to the chest to kill somebody. I am not joking on this. This gun takes four shots to the chest to kill somebody. And if this person is at full health, even if they're not wearing armor, it still takes four shots. If the person's wearing armor, it's still gonna take four shots. So armor does not make that much of a difference, but it's still ridiculous. How can a bolt action rifle take four shots to the chest to kill somebody? And I can understand this not being a one hit kill because it has auto lock. If it had auto lock and it was a one hit kill, people would abuse this in free mode, um, in auto aim lobbies, but there's no reason why this gun should not take two shots to kill minimum. It should take two shots to kill minimum. It should kill every single NPC in this game in one shot and kill, should kill every single player in this game in two shots. That's ridiculous. How can a bolt action rifle take this many uh, shots to kill somebody? By the time you're on the fourth shot, you're going to be dead. Actually, by the time you're even on the second shot, you're going to be dead most of the time when you come in contact with other players. It's a bolt action rifle. So that means basically you load the rounds into the rifle. You pull back the bolt. When you pull back the bolt, it loads the first round into the chamber. You fire it, and then you have to manually pull back the bolt that uh, ejects the spent casing and loads the next round into the chamber. That's how a bolt action rifle basically works. That explains its fire rate. And so... This is just ridiculous. When, you know, you think of a bolt action rifle, typically in games, you think of something that you're going to take down somebody in just one shot. But how can this thing take four shots to kill somebody? Seriously? Absolutely ridiculous. And if you want to know just how stupid that is, the heavy revolver, upgraded, and using the standard ammunition, I'm not using special ammunition, I'm using standard ammunition, will kill in two shots to the chest. The marksman rifle, another pistol, will also kill in two shots to the chest, and to be fair, these are some of the more higher-powered uh, pistols in the game, but it's ridiculous. There is no reason why a 
handgun by any means should kill somebody faster in the chest than a bolt action rifle? How does two shots from a heavy revolver kill somebody, but it takes four shots from this? I don't know what Rockstar was thinking. One of the good things about this rifle is that at least it has some bullet penetration that you can actually uh, go, it can actually go through two players and NPCs, but how often are you going to line people up with this? With the heavy sniper, at least, when you line people up most of the time, you line up NPCs, you'll take them down most of the time in one shot, but how often are you going to get it where two people are, two players are that are you're fighting are just going to stand in front of you and going to give you the opportunity to shoot four times and then get them like that? Like, I thank my friends for helping me to demonstrate this, but it's almost never. You know, the probability of lining up, like, two players that you're in combat with like this, you just have no chance of this. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Additionally, if somebody is actually wearing a helmet, they don't even have to wear a bulletproof helmet, they can just wear a motorcycle helmet, this thing will actually take two shots to the head to kill them, so... Helmets will prevent bullets from this thing. I'm just getting I'm just getting more and more pissed off with this rifle. I don't know what Rockstar was thinking with this thing. It's just so stupid. But th that's basically it, guys, about the rifle. And I wanted to test if this rifle did more damage at longer range. I was actually hoping this would happen. I was really, really hoping. Really, really hoping that at longer range that I'd actually be able to kill somebody quicker. I was thinking maybe at... at at farther range, it does more damage or something like that. Maybe it has some hidden ability, but unfortunately, no, it takes four shots. And you can see that at this distance, when I try to hit my friend on the beach, he disappears. You know, that's GTA 5 expanded and enhanced for you. You should be able to see a player normally. You know, I, I hit players at 200 meters, 200, 300 meters, and hell let loose just with iron sights. I hit players at two times this distance in another multiplayer game. So I don't understand how in GTA people just disappear at this distance, but I still managed to hit my friend, you know, four times, four shots to kill, ridiculous. But now, let me show you guys something else. I want to show you guys something from one of my favorite uh, video game series, which I've actually been doing a series on right now. I'm finishing up Sniper Elite V2, and I'll have the series linked at the end if anybody wants to check it out. But I'll show you guys a compilation of some of my favorite uh, kills in Sniper Elite, uh, and I'll show you guys, most of these kills would be me using bolt-action rifles, but to show just how badass and cool bolt-action rifles can be in games. But here, this is not a badass gun. This is just a stupid, you know, pathetic gun, and I don't even recommend buying it unless you know you just want to own every gun in the game but take a look Got it, nice. This is gonna be a good shot. Ooh. Nice. Okay, this is gonna be good. Wait for it. Took out the, um, uh... Yeah, took out the 223 in the front. Love the soundtrack during this. Here we go, now it's on.
Got him, my target is down. Some of them stop. Boom. Hey. Got it. Okay, got him. Here we go. Got it. This thing, the artillery truck. Okay, I think I gotta aim a little bit lower here. Yup, okay. Got it. This should be it now. We'll buy Tiger now. Now their crew is gonna be trying to get out of the tank. A lot of people miss this one. <laughs> this one is probably a lot of people's favorite one. This one's gonna make a lot of people laugh. You get this cutscene if he gets alerted. And he'll get into his car and try to drive away really quickly. This one's my favorite way to kill him. Got it. 
Look at this shot, 200 meters. <laughs> Another one down. Okay, these guys are suspicious, but we're gonna start popping these guys. Okay, watch this now. <laughs> that's that's my favorite way to kill him. Got it. That shot is pretty hard to make. There we go. Evil dictator down. Beautiful. 300 meter shot. Target's down. Now they get the hell out of here. system come on gotta stop them here we got it oh <laughs> got him this should be good Oh. <laughs> okay. We got him. Nice. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a compilation of some of my favorite shots in Sniper Elite, and I think this highlights just how boring of a rifle this is. You know, I'm not expecting something crazy like in Sniper Elite. That wasn't the point of this video, but I was just to highlight just how much of a boring rifle this is and how bad of a gun this is. Four shots to the chest to kill, and there's one thing that I think we can all agree this rifle is good at all of us. And you know what that is? That is getting your character killed. This rifle is great at getting your character in the game killed. And if for some reason you've watched this video and you're still convinced somehow that this is a good rifle, well I have this final clip for you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> 